Lesson 8.6, Count to 100 by 1s. We use the order of numbers to help us count to 100. We use a 100 chart to detect numerical counting patterns. This is a 100 chart. It goes in counting order from 1 all the way to 100. This is the number 100, 1, 0, 0. All together, this is the number 100. This says 100. When we use a 100 chart to help us count, it's best to slide our finger across instead of pointing and jumping because we might miss a square with a number in it. We might make a mistake and count wrong. In our last lesson, 8.5, we learned to count to 50 using a 50 chart. Here's one. We count it up to 50. Now we can count from 1 all the way up to 100. When we get to the end of a row, we go down to the beginning of the next row and go across. When we get to the end of that row, we go down to the beginning of the next row and continue all the way to 100. You can count with me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Now, do you notice that all of the numbers in this row start with a 1? See that? They all start with a 1 until we get to 20. Then all the numbers in this row start with a 2 until we get to 30. And all these numbers start with a 3 until we get to 40. These all start with a 4. These all start with a 5. See how they all start with the same number in the rows? These all have 8. These all have 9. And if you look at the columns coming down, these all end with a 1. These all end with a 2. These all end with a 3. So whatever the number is up here is the number that these are going to end with. See? It's the same for the whole chart. And when we get here, they all end with a 0. Look at that. And look, here, it goes 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0. See the pattern of what it's doing? We're going to learn more about this column in the next video when we talk about counting to 100 by tens. Here we have a 100 chart and it's got some numbers that are missing. We can find the missing numbers by looking at the number before it and after it. 
all of the numbers in this row start with a 6 until we get to 70. So it must start with a 6. And we can see all the numbers in this column end with a 3. It also must be one more than 62. It must be one greater than 62. And it must be one less than 64. Do you know what the missing number is? If you said 63, you're right. It starts with a 6, ends with a 3. It's one more than 62. It's one greater, and it's one less than 64. It's 63. Do you know what the missing number is here? We can see all the numbers in this row start with a 9. And we can see all the numbers in this column end with a 7. And we know because our 100 chart is in counting order, it must be 1 greater than 96. Do you know what the missing number is? It starts with a 9. It ends with a 7. It's 1 greater than 96. It's 1 less than 98. It must be 97. So as you're counting, Using a 100 chart, remember to slide your finger across so that you don't make a mistake and skip one of the number boxes. And remember that the 100 chart is in counting order, and each number is one greater than the number before it. In our next lesson, 8.7, we're going to count to 100 by tens. That's all the numbers in this column. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you'll join me for next time, and I really hope you'll hit the like button. Bye.